Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we have is rank 35 Poco. So I believe this is my sixth rank 35. Let me take a peek. We got one, two, three, four, five and Sandy is somewhere. Did we pass her? Right or him, sorry. Yeah, I mean, we got six. So we're off to a pretty good start. Uh, we probably have the third or fourth most in NA. I'm not really too sure. I wasn't really pushing rank 35s until recently. I can do one about every two, three days. Um, I plan on doing a couple next season, maybe three. I would do four, but I don't really have the time. Um, but anyways, we're just going to be showing you guys some of the replays from Poco. Now, one of the games we actually lost, um, if I could show you guys right here. Here's our uh, battle log, a, a bunch of wins with Poco. Then, you know, I played some duo showdown with Coach Corey. It didn't really go so well. Then some more wins with Poco. So I'm going to show you guys some of the Brawl Ball games that we played, some of the gem games that we played, and then the one loss that we had. Tell you guys why we lost, how you can avoid the loss, and how you can get better. Now, I told you guys this a bunch of times, Poco definitely is a meta right now, so if you're going for any push, like I know a lot of people go for rank 30 pushes, which is a 1k brawler, then I definitely recommend pushing Poco now, or if you're just trying to push cups, using Poco in the meta right now is just, it's the smartest thing you can do, just stick Poco with any tanks, try your best, and you're going to get those wins. So with that being said, let's hop into the replays and let's show you guys exactly how we got rank 35 Poco. So we'll start off with this game now. This game was really, really challenging for us um, because we face counters, so Poco does really well against brawlers that he can kind of just chip away and then let other brawlers uh, do things. So we're playing with OG who's also going for a rank 35. Daryl, he only has one rank 30, or sorry, not Daryl. Uh, Frank, he only has one rank 35, so he's going to try and pick up on that. Anyways, he's beside the net, so I'm just going to give him the ball and start healing him. Um, really easy. He's got 9.6k HP with me healing him as well. There is no way that they're going to take him down from that close with Ems and Piper on their team. So he's going to get the kill. Now there is a Piper in the mid that's going to be really, really hard for myself to deal with just because I get outranged, out damaged, um, out tapped, just absolutely everything. It's really hard to deal with a Piper. Again, with Poco, you're not really trying to win your lane. You're more or less trying to support other people. So here you can see I'm pinching with Patchy. I'm healing Patchy. He is going to get tapped by the Piper, as am I. I'm going to get tapped by the Piper again. Now the Piper is going to move to the left side over here. He's going to go for the shot. Patchy takes a little bit of a weird angle. Maybe he would be able to save that. I'm not too sure, but he's able to get the save. Uh, or he's not able to get the save, so really good shot by Frustrator. And here we go, a minute and a half left in the game. Again, this is a really hard comp for us to use. I'm just going to heal OG over there. He's going to go down during his super. And I feel like this game is kind of just like who wins the Sandy battles. So I'm going to try and get like a cheeky shot over there. Good shots by them. They hit me every single time. They're able to get the kill. And they're going to let the M's bring the ball up. So about a minute left in the game. This isn't looking too good for us. Patchy throws down his super a little bit too far ahead, but it should be fine. Patchy's pretty low. I'm going to put the ball in the corner. And Patchy's not really healing, he's trying to go aggro. Luckily for us, their Piper did miss a lot of shots. Patchy's going to trade over there with the M's. M's is another really, really strong brawler that I would definitely recommend using in this current meta. OG's going to use his super. Uh, he went for the hit, but more importantly, I think he went for the wall break. Um, I'm able to heal OG so he stays alive, and I'm going to try to do it again. But that M's just does so much damage when you get it at the perfect range. So it's going to be able to get the kill. Patchy was going to bring it up, but he thought otherwise. He's going to bring the ball back. He's going to put it in the corner. Now, this is a really interesting play because he puts the ball into like their hands and kind of throws the super way too far up. So it's very predictable where he is. He's going to go down. Obviously, I'm going to go down because I can't really 1v1 any of these brawlers. OG is going to try and pick up the ball. He's not going to be able to get it. I'm going to take a shot. Frustrator is going to make that pass. We're going to do enough damage to keep it in the corner over there. I'm going to get tapped. OG is going to get a little bit tapped. But nine seconds in the game, we're able to survive over there. At this point, I believe we're high 1100s. I'm just going to keep healing OG with my shots. I can't reach any of them. No point in holding three shots with Poco. Patchy almost dies. I use my heal on Patchy, which I really wanted to use for OG, but it's essential that we have all three people alive in overtime because if it's a three on two, it gets really, really hard to win the games. So they're going to move up over here. It's not looking very good. Patchy's going to go down. Um, I'm going to go down as well, trying to do a little bit of damage. OG's going to super the right side. OG could have supered left or right, and if he supered the left side, they obviously would have lost. They're going to get that pass off. Patchy's going to make a good save covering one side. I got the other side. It's really crucial because nobody really gets the middle or shoots for the middle, so I would definitely recommend, you know, if you're with two people, try and just spread out. I was going to go for a shot there. They covered it really, mel really well. One on the left, one on the right, one in the middle. OG's going to go for a shot. Not going to be able to pick up the kill. Um, Patchy's going to try and get the kill. Not going to be able to get it. 11 se or 15 seconds left. It's me and Patchy over here against the sandy i'm just standing in his way 10 seconds left i'm gonna pick up the ball with super obviously i kind of want to pass it to someone but i'm not going to a little bit of jukes i know i have some time 
three, two, we're gonna put it to the left side and with one second left, we're gonna be able to get that goal and take home the dub. So I was 12.09, we get three trophies for a loss and we gain and we lose 12, or three trophies for a win, sorry, and 12 for a loss. So it's definitely really, 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 really hard to push. So we're gonna show you guys one more brawl ball game and then we're gonna hop over to Gem and show you guys what happened there. So here we go. Um, I was streaming these on Twitch. So obviously when you're streaming, second best loves attention. So he's going to be trying to snipe you. So we're facing Sword, second best and Alec. If you guys are an OG, OG sub, and I mean literally day one, probably the first 700, then you guys will know I used to share this channel actually with Sword. So Patchy's going to be chilling over there on second. Second's going to get a super. He's actually going to hit both of us, but he's not going to be able to finish the kill on me. Um, OG's gonna get pulled. Pretty bad play by them since I had my super. I missed the ball over there, so I'm not able to get the goal, unfortunately. I'm gonna get supered. That's fine, whatever. Um, 30 seconds into the game, they probably have the better comp, but we're doing a really, really good job right now at just holding position. Um, second best is also Frank, probably trying to like show up OG or something. Alec is hiding in a bush over there. OG's gonna hit his super. Um, I'm just gonna pass the ball really simply over there to Patchy. That's gonna be our first goal. Now, these guys are pro players. Um, Sword's taking a little bit of a break, but these guys definitely are pros. Um, kind of like a lapse of judgment over there. You don't really see that when it comes to pros when it's kind of just like a IQ goal, especially with these guys. But again, the same thing happens. Patchy sneaks on the right side. Again, we caught these guys sleeping. They weren't thinking about it. Typical moves over there by second. And, you know, we're able to get a one minute win. So that was actually fairly easy. OG played great. Congrats on the star player to him. Really, really good play. We're able to get the dub. And these are our games on Brawl Ball. So obviously we played a lot on Brawl Ball. We were able, we were able to push a little bit. And I stopped at 12.18 on Brawl Ball and moved to Gem. So I'll show you guys a couple Gem games now. What went right, what didn't, and how we were able to get the rank 35. Okay, so here's one of the games. And again, Poco is not a great mid on this map i probably wouldn't recommend if i were to suggest a mid i'd pick piper penny or gene um even jesse i i pam is probably the, probably the worst mid and then poco would be next you just kind of got to play passive help out your lanes as much as possible and don't really focus too much on their mid i'm tapping their mid a little bit but that's just kind of to gain my super i'm going to move over here and pinch youtube george bs with smith smith's going to be able to pick up the kill ash is going to go down i'm going to be kind of hiding like behind smith so that I don't get pulled by the gene, obviously. Uh, Smith's gonna use a super over here. And again, it's kind of difficult for me to go for the gene, so I'm just gonna try and assist. Ash is gonna go for that roll. He's gonna miss it by a little bit, but it's fine. There is a Daryl in our bushes. It's important that we don't let him regen, so me and Ash definitely just go on him really, really fast, trying not to let him regen. Currently six to nothing, looking really good. I knew the gene was gonna go for a pull over there, so I pretended like I was gonna go for the gems that I backed out. Um, Ash is a little bit low, but that's fine. Smith's gonna use his super. I'm gonna be able to heal him. Uh, really good heals over there, as he definitely should have died a while ago. And we're gonna move up over here and try and get this gene. Smith's gonna be able to get the kill. He's gonna pick up the gems that we need to tie the game. And we're gonna move back now. So there's 18 or 14 seconds left. Sorry, Ash is getting some kills, doing a really good job. I go too close to this gene over here. He's gonna hit the pull, and the Daryl's actually getting close. But luckily, um, I am able to get my super right before I die over here. Literally, I, I, I probably should have died. I almost threw over there. But we're able to get the win. I got the start player, and that brought us to 12.42. So we're going to skip ahead to our 12.48 game. Or I should say our first 12.48 game. And this is actually my only loss in like a really, really long time when playing with Poco. We got countered. Um, it wasn't a counter comp snipe. It was just, you know, we got countered. Things happen. We're going to show you guys how we could have won, what went wrong, and, you know, just overall why we lost. Okay, so here we go into the game. Now, we did have a tiny, tiny bit of delay. Actually, when we lost this game, we got this guy, the guy screenshot it, tagged us on Twitter, and he said, did you have delay? Um, it wasn't that much to affect the game outcome, really, but it definitely was a little bit, you know, it that definitely did bother us a little bit. So we're gonna be going up against a Jesse. Now Jesse is really hard for Poco because when facing a Jesse, obviously the most important part about Jesse is her Jesse turret. And with this new um, update or balance or whatever we call it, I guess it's a balance. Um, Jesse's turret did get the HP buff. You guys can see it right over here. It's got 4,200 and every time she shoots her turret, she does 800 heal. And every time I shoot it, I do 924 damage. Now that is not very good. I'm gonna be having to shoot that thing for a long, long time. And it's going to be a little bit hard. Now, Smith is on Nita. That's kind of like an even matchup. I'm not really sure who has the advantage over there. But o uh, Ash is going to go down over there. And this may... Th that, I mean, it's not his fault. But that definitely made this really hard. I, we need position if we want to be able to take out this turret. Ash is going to move up and try and take it out. He's going to be able to. But it's just going to charge the next turret. Because the Jesse was there spamming it. 
Smith's doing a pretty good job. It's pretty crucial that we kill the need over here. So I went and I pinched. Ash is in the spawn currently. He does get countered, so it's a little bit hard. I tried moving out just to get my super. So I could have my super and Ash can try and make a roll. But the positioning is really hard when they have the uh, turret set up. So I'm trying to get some shots off on the spike. Not able to get anything done, really. Currently 7 to 5. Um, obviously, the biggest issue here is the turret. If the turret wasn't there, then we'd be able to, you know, make a roll or go a little bit aggressive and make a play. But unfortunately, is there not much we can do about it. We finally get a kill. I go over here uh, just to move up a little bit and try and heal Ash. Um, Smith does back out over there. I think Smith might have been able to kill the Jesse with me if we just pinched in and continued going forward. He decided to back out, which was fine. Um, I almost actually, per like, we could have gotten the kill may maybe here. If the Jesse didn't get the turret. But again, she puts up a turret. She's able to hide behind it. We're going to be shot by it. And we're going to go down. So the reason we lost is because spawnables are really, really, really good against Poco and Sandy. They had two of them. And then Spike obviously counters Daryl, but also counters Poco a lot. I can't do much about a Spike. So that's the reason we lost that game. So that was 1248. That's definitely a big blow. That sets us back five games. Well, four games, but five. We want the rank 35. So we won the first four. Then we got into the last game. And let's show you guys exactly what happened in the rank 35 game. So... Here we go into the last game, and we're going to be going up against a Carl, a Crow, and a Jesse. So again, a Jesse. Now, I don't think this is a random team, but that other team that we are facing was also ranked 35 pushing, so they were pretty organized. This team over here, not so much. Crow lane actually isn't bad over here, so you might be think seeing a Crow and being like, oh, it's a random or something. Well, it's actually not. Crow is actually pretty good here. But obviously, there are better options. So I'm going to be trying to help Ash over here. Just shooting Ash. Um, I'm definitely focused up this game because we did waste like an hour because we lost that other game and I didn't want to lose again. Smith gets rolled on, but I, you know, I can just heal him with my regular shots. So that's fine. Currently have the five to nothing lead. I'm just over here healing Smith. Don't want to use my super until Ash rolls on somebody. Ash is trying to use his roll, but he's pretty content with staying in that bush for now. Ash is going to use his roll and try and go in. Kind of a little bit of a misplay on the roll, but that's fine. I have my heal over here. Going to be cautious with it um, and not try and waste it. I think I used it at a good time healing Smith over there. And now we got Ash moving up that side. They do have a turret, but they're not spamming the turret as much as they should be. So Smith's able to take it out really easily. I get this po I get this crow down to 48 HP. So obviously the crow's got to back up. I'm able to get my super. So this is really, really good. I'm able to get the ninth gem. Ash is going to go in over there. I'm going to give Ash that heal so we can go right back to full HP. And he's really close to his super. Smith's going to pick up that last gem. And now we're going to move back. So Ash is going to go for the roll. He's going to be able to take out that uh, Carl. We're able as a team to take out that Crow. And that Jesse at this point kind of give up. He's just going to run back. I'm going to go to spawn because I, I don't want to play with it. We've already wasted an hour. Let's just take the W and move on. No need to be. I mean, Smith shoot each other a little bit. That is going to end the match. And that is going to give me my rank 35 Poco. So we did get star player majority of the time. But, you know, that doesn't really matter. Especially in ladder. So that's going to be the video for rank 35 Poco. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm, I'm actually having a pretty fun time doing these rank 35 videos because it's also like kind of self-rewarding to get a rank 35 again eventually i want to get all rank 35s i'm one fifth of the way there so it is a tough long grind but eventually we will get there thank you guys for watching the video does mean a lot uh do we do have some really good informative videos coming up so i hope you guys can stay tuned and watch that that's gonna be it for today though i will catch you guys again tomorrow peace